Hey, we got Drew's views here, and I'm back for a little infinity train. Back to ride the train on into the station, almost on season three. Penultimate episode coming up here, episode nine. It is called The Origami Car. All right, a little more straightforward than the car titles we've been getting recently, like last time with the Hey Ho Whoa car, I think it was called. Um, and yeah, the cars lately haven't been factoring too heavily into the actual episode content, but big episode last time, uh, big cliffhanger, Simon tapped into Grace's uh, memories with what he, the equipment he got from the cat, you know, to see if she was uh, lying to him about anything, which of course she was, about Hazel, which they all found out about the turtle thing last time, but what we all found out from Amelia was that it was... She's really an experiment from Amelia, basically, to try to recreate her uh, old husband. The whole reason for being on the train, she's trying to make the amends of that now. But yeah, it seems like Hazel's going to be in trouble here. She's not human after all. She is just a no, quote-unquote no. Um, Simon obviously wants to ditch her. Grace doesn't want to now, even though she's saying she would and, and uh, said something like that to Hazel's face. But of course, we know it's been going a different direction with them and obviously there's going to be some type of confrontation here we'll see how Simon plays it is he going to straight up say what he did with the memory thing probably wouldn't be a good idea would we'll try to just say figured it out on his own I don't know I'm sure she's gonna Grace is gonna find out either way um to see what Amelia's gonna do here and then yeah Hazel I don't know is she gonna try to run away because she thinks she's gonna get killed by Simon is she gonna I don't know, I feel bad for her because obviously she thinks she's she has like the real human type feelings or whatever and she just found out she was created or whatever. And it seems like Grace turned on her even though you know, it's probably not the case. So yeah, we'll see. And then the way it cut away, I'm not sure if Simon's gonna keep watching the memories or something or he's gonna turn it off and yeah, what's gonna happen here exactly. But I think we're gonna be in for some good old drama here in episode nine. I'm pretty much ready to jump right on into it. So let's go ahead, fold up some origami. So I think what's happening is like what, in season one, the cat was trying to, Samantha was trying to trap uh, a tulip for the conductor, right? for Amelia, and I know the real names, at the time, uh, at which didn't work, tulip got out of it, but I think that's maybe what just happened to Grace here, although with the, the season one thing, it was like, she was trying to trap her by like giving her good memories that were a little bit different, now this is, this is like, I guess for all real memories for the most part, it seemed like, and then just at the end, <laughs> the betrayal part of Simon, you know, quote unquote betrayal at the end just over and over again. So obviously Simon did actively do that, but, uh, you know, trap her like that, but, um, and is leaving her there, but I don't know exactly, did the cat tell him how to do that or I don't know. Like, was that his plan as soon as he saw that she had lied to him? I guess maybe it was. Um, so Hazel went with Amelia. I don't know if we'll see them again this season only have one episode left I mean maybe maybe Hazel will try to will, will be the one to save Grace hmm if they come across each other again though I don't know how they would necessarily hmm hmm yeah not a good situation I mean Grace obviously after she found out she lied I don't know if there was anything if she just kept playing along and, and went back to normal I don't know if he would have still done something anyway but she wasn't even doing that like she was like crying all this stuff obviously really affected her Hazel leaving her and yeah it was a good thing with the whole lap pointing it out but the language difference like what she called them now not Nels anymore but uh denizens I think it was so she's obviously growing finally making some changes but it's easier said than done, I guess, because especially when you, you're codependent with these other people like Simon, who is not trying to grow at all. He's trying to stay stuck in his ways, or I don't know if trying might not be the right way, like, but he is staying stuck. He is fighting against it, I guess, uh, growing, changing. And we saw, like, so we saw the flashbacks here, but we saw how they met. We saw stories we'd heard about, but we actually saw them happen. Cat abandoned, you know, leaving him, 
her saving him, saw her kind of sad childhood with her first parents that don't pay attention to her, like a pretty standard story, but so her mom had a British accent. I'm wondering if, as I know the actress who plays Grace is named, I think Kirby Howell Baptiste, I believe is her name. I've heard her on a comedy podcast before, I think she's more in the comedy world, but um, she's British as well. So I wonder if that was actually her doing like, I wonder if that was her real voice. I just thought of that for some reason, but doing the mother. Anyway, so yeah, we saw some of this stuff with her other, I guess she like insulted her. She was getting revenge on those girls by who didn't invite her by causing trouble. And then she was obviously shoplifting to try to get attention, which didn't work. And that's when the train rolled up. So the train looked also different than we've seen it before with that. I guess maybe it tailors to different people or something. Is it had like rolled out like a car before or it looked more uh, regal or something. Yeah, well, I guess we'll just have to figure out what's gonna happen. Obviously, something must shake her out of this memory trap. And, and the finale, I would have to assume. I don't know if we'll see Simon get any type of come up or what's gonna happen to him. Like I said, I don't know if we'll see, see Hazel again. We might. Cause I don't know how else Grace is gonna get out of this. I mean, maybe she's gonna have to just get herself out of it some way, um, like Tulip did back in season one. And is she gonna be able to get off the train even? Cause like that's obviously what happened in the last two seasons. Thurston got off the train, the main character. Uh, this time her number's so high anyway, it doesn't seem likely. I mean, she's not quite at Amelia levels yet, but she's not gonna get off that traditional way of getting it down anytime soon, right? So, hmm, we shall see. Yeah, it's, that's obviously didn't exactly go the way I necessarily thought, but it was, it was definitely interesting. Well, I'm excited for that finale, season three, episode 10. Join me back for that next time on Drew's Views here. Do subscribe if you're not already. Comment, like, all of that stuff. But for now, I'm disembarking off the old train. I'm out of here. Peace.